everybody and welcome back to the channel today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day as I share with you a week of curly hairstyles in the summer. That's right. This video is going to be a little bit different as we deal with my hair and restyle it throughout the week. Starting from day one, of course, I'll be giving you the details to this wash day, which was styled using Aveda's Nutriplenish line. As I am so excited to partner with them to share with you something brand new. There is a new, new Triplenish curly hair product as part of the line, which I have used to achieve this look. And I am super excited that after two months of testing, I can finally give you the tea on this new curl. It's not a jelly, but a jelly would rhyme better. It's a jelly though. So join me as I take you through my wash week and join me every week with new videos by subscribing to this channel. And without further ado, it's time to do this do. First things first, I gotta start off with a really strong wash and style to set me up for success throughout this week. That means I wanna use something that's both very cleansing but also nourishing. My hair is so much drier in the summer and so much more exposed to the elements. Gotcha. This shampoo gives me very serious co-wash vibes. It's so creamy, so luxurious, but it does start to louder. And especially since I do plan on doing some fun summer styles, I want to make sure my hair is ready for it with a nice nourishing shampoo and condition. So I'm using Aveda's Deep Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner from the Nutriplenish line. She thick, thick. These ones are richer than their light version, which is exactly what I need. I need something a little more rich and nourishing. So now that that's done, you can see my hair is very beautifully conditioned. I want to compound that moisture so my hair lasts and continues to look good throughout this week. So I'm going to style my hair the best way I know how. We prep, we style, and we finish. And so first I'm going in with my leave-in. This I spray from roots to tips. This is super, super lightweight. So this is a leave-in I feel comfortable putting near my roots, near my scalp, and knowing that it's not gonna leave my hair greasy or weighed down. This is a naturally derived UV filter that is going to protect my hair from the sun, which is why I really wanna make sure every strand gets some love. And by the way, if you were wondering, this leave-in conditioner, as well as all of the Nutriplenish products, are also silicone-free. So even if you do follow CGM, this bad boy is for everybody. But for me and my color-treated hair, my ends are high porosity, they get really dry, I really need to seal in moisture, so I'm going to use the Deep Moisture Daily Moisturizing Treatment from the Nutriplenish line. And this is going to be like my curl cream. As long as I have some kind of cream and moisturizing treatment, in my hair, my curls are gonna look wonderful throughout the week. So I'm going to go in with about that much cream for my whole head, really focusing this more on my ends and where my hair needs it most. And the application technique I'm doing is the one that's gonna give me the quickest results because I do wanna enjoy this beautiful summer weather and also give me the best amount of definition. So I'm going to be using my Denman styling brush to help both clump and define my curls because that's what works best for me. Now this is me styled, curled, clumped. And the most important part, I need to hold this style in place. Adding a gel is gonna make my hair long lasting in the summertime, especially if I'm looking for a little bit more control of my curls in this crazy weather. And I am excited to show you something new for curls. This is the Nutriplenish Curl Gelee for curls, waves, and coils. This is the first Aveda Curl product that they have launched in forever like since be curly which has been around for a long time it's my it's my long time favorite but this gel right here was made different firstly if you take a look at this texture it is in fact jelly not too runny while also not being too thick it is powered by the Nutriplenish key ingredient which is pomegranate oil which is very rich in omega-5 which is very nourishing for the hair and this gelée in general does help to add hydration to the hair when applied evenly, which you can see me kind of smooth this over those curl clumps that I created, I get the best results, especially in this kind of routine when none of my other stylers, which are actually leave-in conditioners, give hold. This gives a really nice soft hold and it actually helps to control the curl. I find it to be a little bit elongating, especially 
with this sort of praying hands application technique. But then when you see me style my bangs, I'm finger coiling. This is gonna help me really define my curls. I want maximum definition so my hair lasts me longer. And I have the gel prepped on my hands while I'm doing this to really make sure that I lock every single little strand in there that could potentially frizz up later without leaving my hair crispy. The hold is super flexible and you'll see that in just a moment. Okay, and this is the wet result fully defined, held in place. I am going to very gently air dry, maybe diffuse towards the end, and then I finish up day one with an oil serum, as always, to lock in the style and moisture, and also to break out this crunchy cast, which we'll take a closer look at right now. You can see my hair's got a lot of control, a lot of hold. And to give me a little bit of a softer look and again to lock in all of the moisture that's in my hair, I'm using the Nutriplenish Multi-Use Oil. I like to take two or three pumps of this and use it on my hair, not, not down my arm. Gorgeous! Looking at this day one, you can see how my hair is very clumped and defined while also not being super springy up to my ears. I actually maintained a lot of length. It's that elongation from the gel, which also tends to happen when the hair is super moisturized. When your hair is very moisturized, it tends to hang a little lower because it is literally full of nourishment. And this is my happy and hydrated day one style. It is the foundation for the rest of the week and it looks incredible. I know this is gonna last me until day two where I'm going to revamp it a little bit and recreate a whole new style using what I've got here. So, I mean, without further ado, good night and good morning. Welcome to day two with me and realistically, ooh, this is what we're looking like and what we're going to look like as before I style, I'm going to do a little pre-workout. So I might as well show you what I'm going to do to protect my hair while I work out. I'm not even going to bother with it at this point. I don't know why you people bother at this point. Like, give it up. Wrap it up. I'm using a satin silk scarf. Flip. Crisscross at the front, bring it to the back, and I'm just gonna wrap my hair in this and give it a tie. This way, I'm not using a ponytail or a hair tie, whatever. Now the bangs are back and these curls are, they're here, but that's okay. Anyways, come work out with me. Sister and I are doing a vlog Lottie's challenge to try and stay active. All right, and now that I have worked out, I take this off pretty quick. I didn't get very sweaty today, but I never wanna let my hair sit in that sweat you know, in that position. So I shake it out so my curls don't get crimped and I'm just gonna put on a whole new cap yet again to take a body shower before actually styling for the day. Oh, oh, okay. Look, I know it's day two, but really, it's night one. It is time to get this hot curl summer on because day two hair is arguably the best hair. Now that I can judge it out a little bit, get a little bit more volume without ruining, you know, those really fresh curls, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to prep my hands with a little bit more of the multi-use oil because if I go in and judge up my hair with dry hands, that can create a lot of static electricity and a lot more frizz and fly away. So I want to make sure that my hands are nice and lubricated with the shine that's going to give so much more to my hair as well and just fluff this out now because i've already got a lot going on in the outfit i want to keep today's style just really fun with the volume so i'm going to take a few hundred or so just a couple of bobby pins you, know, you can never find the bobby pins when you need them but we're going to use them to create a little bit of lift because although i love the bang moment i don't want all this hair in my face it's gonna get hot it's already it's already hot I want you to see how I applied this into this little twist. I twisted it towards my head and I'm going to keep the pin going right into it. And it's gonna be nice and secure. We do want to solidify that with another one. Really shoving it into my hair. I'm grabbing from the top and twisting it into the root because I don't want to see, I don't really want to see the pins. I just want them to hold this hair back. It also gave me much more lift up here, curving it up to the part 
going in that same direction with the bobby pin before flipping it around and shoving it into the scalp. That's how you know it's gonna be a tight one. Now, we're ready to partay. Okay, and you can see me on day three. Okay, it's day three, and at this point in my routine, Earlier in the day, I did the same thing as yesterday, and now I'm ready to do my hair. And so playing off of the vibe that I've got going on for this hot summer day, we're going to do another something highlighting the bangs, which as you can see, do look a little bit frizzy, but that is not because it's dry. It's not dry frizz that's happening. This frizz is just for me living, but otherwise my hair still feels super, super soft. So. I'm gonna say refreshing until I need to. And what we're going to do is clip it. Now, if you do not have a claw clip at home, what are you doing? This is one of the hottest accessories that you can have. And I think you'll see what I mean as we create this style. So again, I'm just gonna take a drop of oil to lubricate my hands as I'm playing with my hair. And I'm taking half of my head here, giving it a little twist, only half of my hair. I'm gonna keep the bottom half down to give me a little bit of length in this style. Okay, and now, because if you see the bangs, it's looking a little crazy, I'm going to take some of this excess hair and braid it. Now, depending on how curly your hair is, you may not even need to use an elastic on the end, like me. Uh, however, your hair may also be a little too curly to stay down. That's okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of leave-in. This is gonna help to kind of dampen the hair down a little bit. And if the hair is re-dampened, I'm able to reform those hydrogen bonds in our hair that kind of set a style in place. So I'm just gonna give a shake and a spray and just a little gelée, just the touch. And I'm going to keep these tucked behind my ear or bobby pin them for a little bit because that's gonna help them to dry downwards and a little bit more straight without needing to use heat. We don't use heat in this house. We don't use heat. Unless it's, unless it's gentle heat from our blow dryer and we're, we're hovering from a distance. I'm just gonna fix the bangs a little bit. I'm not even doing this with any product, by the way. Sometimes you just need to re kind of finger coil and twist those frizzies back into place, into a curl. And well, tell me this doesn't give you 90s vibes. I'm here for it. It's fun, it's simple, it's freaking cute. Oh, yes. Ooh, the only thing about this is I know tomorrow I'm gonna have to put in a little bit of work to fix my hair. Stay tuned for day four and another style in a few. Okay, it's day four. Are you ready to do a little bit more? Because at this point of the week, I'm starting to look a little busted and crusted. So we need to put in some work here to create a nice style that also looks refreshed. I'm gonna start off this process steaming my hair because you can see the curls look a little bit wonky, a little slept on, creased from my styling. So I have my facial steamer here. Steaming is what I do to wake up my wonky curls, but it's also how I get to add hydration back into my hair when I need it. And since it has been over three days and 72 hours since my wash day, it's time to add just a little bit. But up until this point, the Nutriplenish line has given me 72 hours of incredible hydration. This is just gonna help me stretch my styling now for another one to two days. Okay, about two minutes later, this is how just adding steam back into my hair, which still has product in from day one, kind of refreshed everything. So I can determine what needs to be added. That way I'm not adding too much and just creating buildup. And it looks to me like she's still thriving. Remember that using steam is manipulating the use of humidity, but when you need it. Like when you need a little infusion of hydration. Okay, so now to bring back some nourishment, I'm gonna use a little bit of the leave-in conditioner and just a touch of the daily moisturizing treatment almost as a lotion on my hands. I'm not reaching for an oil because an oil helps to seal in moisture. And because some of my hairs now are drier and I've just added some hydration from my steamer, I want to use something a little bit more moisturizing for a little extra nourishing. And sniff and smell and smell and sniff. It smells so mm, delish. So to tie it all away, I'm gonna do some pigtail action today, okay? 
I'm gonna use these little baby elastics and because my hair is curly, it's thick, one of these are definitely not gonna do the trick. So I'm gonna double up and I'm going to take half of my hair at a time. And if you see the back, I'm keeping the partings really loose and natural. Please don't break, please don't break, oh, please don't break. Isn't that magical? The thicker your hair, maybe perhaps the more elastics you'll want to use. Triple it up, triple it up. Just like I'm going to triple up the amount of ponies we're doing here. About an inch and a half below that, we add another one. Now, fun fact, not only will doubling up these little baby elastics help with the security, but because I don't have to twist it and turn it a million times, it's much less likely to snap on me either now or later, and it won't loosen as much because it has that extra band of support. If you have layers, I feel you, I hear you, I see you. Just stretch the curls down so that they don't boing up. Stretch them down, put on the elastic, and while you can leave this there and do a really cute bubble pony that still looks cute on curly hair, okay, I'm gonna do something a little fancy to take it to another level using this fancy little tool here. I don't actually know what we call these things besides a pull-through tool. I'm going to stick this in the middle of the bubble, pull through my braid through the hole, Pull the braid through the hole, and now pull on the other side. Huh? Now I've gone from this to this. Now I don't know which side I look better, but I feel like the twisted bubble makes it look a little bit more intricate, and this is beautiful for people that don't know how to braid their own hair. It looks really, it looks like you really did something. And finally, this look would not be complete without a few accessories. Oh, there she is, looking boho chic. I think we're complete. Completely out of my mind to look this cute. I really think this look is literally amazing and minimal stress on the strands. Now I shall go do a photo shoot and I will see you on day five. Okay, it is now day five and I think we have nearly reached the end here. In order to just stretch this one more day before another wash day. And I wanna go for that model off duty look. We're gonna need some spray. I'm only spraying the roots of this style right now. One more time, especially if I'm gonna be out in the sun. I'm gonna add some of the leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to be using a tail comb like this one to begin brushing my hair back. Now, I'm not going to be using the teeth for this. I actually want to use this long stick. This is a trick that we do in order to get bumps out of the style, but I don't wanna to have to, you know, fix the bumps after my hair is already in the ponytail. So I'm gonna to try to smooth all of my hair first. Doing this, it's gonna make it easier. And then I will be able to slick with more bristles. Okay, and now for these bangs that don't want to stay, I'm gonna use my gelée for hold. It is at this point where I get imposter syndrome thinking, whose forehead is this? Whose for, where, where did that come from? You know, that's what happens when you have bangs. Once I have the ponytail snatched where I want it, I begin to twist. Now I'm going to take this as an Invisibobble. You can use whatever hair tie. It doesn't scare you. I know that these scare some people, but not me. I'm gonna make these ends a little fluffy. To finish, I'm just gonna do a little extra polishing with a little edge comb. Remember those bumps I was mentioning? Watch them disappear. And then if you have a few minutes, you should try to set it with a silk scarf because this is gonna help to lay everything in place so your bangs especially don't boing up on you in a few minutes. I can see they want to. Then you could just wait or go ahead and accessorize and come back when it's done. There she is, that's what I am talking about. Model off duty. 
Anywho, I think that concludes today's video because tomorrow will definitely be a wash day, but I want to thank you for joining me for today's Texture Tuesday video. I also want to thank Aveda for partnering with me on this video. If you are new here and you didn't know, I am an Aveda trained stylist. I've been using Aveda products for years. I know a lot about all of their products and I have been so excited for the new Gelee to come out that will officially be available on June 28th, so you can look out for that. And also look in the description box below for all of the other product details. Now while you're down there, make sure that you comment what your favorite look was so we know what really the vibe of summer 2021 will be. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to me. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, this has been your main girl Mel, and I am out. Peace. It's gonna be a hot curl summer meme. 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 Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Don't panic. Mina! So what I'm going to do is take half of. Oh my goodness! At least you know she's deodorized. Oh my gosh! We're jumping through the bush. Shh. Okay, I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm filming. Are we all feeling the same thing right now? Like, this is a little too much. Are you faux real? You're faux real. Are you faux real? Oh my dude, I gotta go catch the sunlight. I gotta go catch the sunlight. Photo shoots will be on my Instagram at Mains by Mel. Thank you. We're burning daylight. Good night, everybody.